Okay, Dan. Here is the switch, and if you look at this side of the switch, you'll see three little heads right here. What they are is posts that come through from the other side, and when they assemble the switch, they put a little heat on the top of those to kind of turn them into plastic rivets. And with an X-Acto knife, you can pop those heads off, and then put your X-Acto knife right here, and kind of get it down into the, the part, or the parting line between the two parts, and pop it like that and then you'll be able to pull this out and there are the I don't know if you can see that or not but there are the three posts and you can see the remnants of the head that stuck through there now if you look at the way this switch works you'll see this bottom contact move back and forth as I actuate the switch and that wiping action is supposed to keep the contacts clean and and make sure they don't corrode. It doesn't seem to work very well. And so all you need to do to fix this is uh, open up the contacts and take an emery board or a small file or a piece of sandpaper, put it between the contacts and just kind of move it back and forth gently and uh, you know, get any corrosion off of there. And if you've got some dielectric grease, that's that white silicone looking stuff or the clear silicone looking stuff, just stick it in there and that may help uh, keep it from corroding again in the future. Um, and if you've got a, an ohm meter, you can put it on these two contacts and check and see if what you just did fixed it. If not, you can plug it into the bike and kind of hold it all together and activate it. If it doesn't work, do a little more scrubbing and it should come back. Then once you're satisfied that it's working again, you just put this cover back on, put it through the little holes there and snap it in place. And then uh, three little dabs of hot melt glue or uh, ABS glue or something like that that will kind of sit in there will hold that together good enough for working. And if I remember right, I think the switch will be held together when you put the screw in. I'm not positive on that, but uh, it, this ought to get you going again until you can get a new switch.